what you guys got another rogue removal video here for you this one's called disk antivirus professional it's a new variant that's doing around so as you can see it's doing a hefty scan of the system and it's finding loads of infections well these are all bogus they're not real and uh, what it's going to do is once it's finished its scan it's going to say we can remove all these if you purchase this product so that's the scam part and that's how they make their money now it does block everything on the system as you can see when you try to do task manager or CMD it will block it and it just shuts it down now this to my knowledge doesn't run in safe mobile networking so you could remove it from there and if you want to know how to do that you can get on the uh, safe mobile networking by following the instructions on the screen okay so let's have a look at the actual uh, program and what it's doing as you can see here it looks pretty convincing but they are fake and uh, what we're going to do here is have a look at the uh, get a license open this up and as you can see it wants to lure you to this page so you can purchase the product now do not ever pay for these it is a scam and it is fake and uh, they'll just rip you off okay so don't go paying for this type of software I will show you how to uh, sort this one out so what I'm going to do is click on the registration here now if you want to use a registration code you can use this one on the screen right now now what that's going to do it's not going to remove this product from the system but it's going to allow you to run malware bytes and programs like that to remove it from the system from the desktop if you wish now the reason why I say that is because um, there may be a case where you can't get into safe mobile networking because it now blocks it at a later date so I'm just going to be making sure that we remove it from the desktop just in case that's the case so let's uh, remove this now I'll show you where it actually resides you can see the icon on the desktop here if I go properties you can see it resides in uh, program data so let's have a look at that now program data is a hidden file so you would need to go to organize folder and search options view and then show hidden files and folders okay it will be there you need to put the dot in there and that will show you this location and it will be a long number here and this is where the files are okay so let's get a program to remove this from the system there's numerous different ways of going about this okay so what we're going to do here is we're going to go up to the Internet Explorer here open this up and as you can see it needs internet access to show you that page to pay for something going to do downloads dot malwarebytes dot org forward slash file and then forward slash chameleon push enter ignore the warning where it says here and carry on and then it will give you the download I'm going to save this I'm going to save this to my desktop here close all this off now now we're at here is our chameleon so I'm going to open this up extract all I'm going to extract this to my desktop here and as you can see that's the path okay so here we have our chameleon files and the actual rogue is still running behind us so I'll just drop this down a little bit so we can see so what we need to do is click on these one at a time here I'm going to click on this one it stopped it try another one just keep going through these okay so we've got one working here so push any key to continue it's going to download it and start to install it's going to update click OK it's going to kill the process now just have to wait and there you go the process is now killed okay it's going to try and run malware bytes now as you can see now that does take a few minutes and then it will run a scan 
and it's found the file. Okay, that's the scan now finished. I'm going to click OK here, show our results, and as you can see, it's found it inside the program data. It's found some other numerous stuff here. I'm going to remove this selection. There's the log file if you wish to keep it. I'm going to quickly do a restart now. Just let this load in. And now our back at the desktop should have our internet back and if we have a look inside here we should see that that file has now been removed. The folder is still there, there's some other remnants that we can remove but these are not the actual program itself, they're just icons. So we can remove these like so. And then basically you could run TDSS killer to make sure you've got no uh, rootkits dropped on the system and uh, Hitman Pro and you should be pretty much good to go. So I think that's going to be about it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, hit that subscribe button and share support by rating and favourite all my videos. And I'll be making more useful videos again in the future. So thanks again, guys, and thanks for your support. Bye for now.